Well, what is going on everyone today? It is June 14th um, and I am doing an intro from inside the RAV today, the ABO Battle Wagon, because I am in a very private pond this evening and I'm gonna do about four to five hours of fishing if I last that long. It is gross out today. It's like 90 degrees, humid as all get out. Um, and anyway, we're at a very private pond and sometimes residents get a little weird about cameras. So if I can fish here and keep it on the down low, I literally will just fish with the, the GoPro rig and not carry around the large camera because I, I just don't want to ruin being able to come back here and fish. So doing the intro inside the raft today, but anyway, we were at a very private farm pond that is ancient it's probably at least 30 to 40 years old it's older than i am and it is loaded with some giant bass um, one of my favorite things about this pond is how you can fish this pond because of the vegetation that grows in this pond um, around the edges there's a lot of ivy and some sort of grass that grows into the pond and then it's developed a large amount of algae too that floats up on the surface so frogs and then soft plastics seem to be the ticket here so Got permission again, I just went up and checked with the residents again to make sure I was still able to fish because I did come here and fish about a week and a half ago and I had some mishaps, I'll play those right now. Mm. Oh my, my snack. Oh my God. Oh, I just lost my frog. Just lost my frog. I'll bet 20 bucks there's a fish on the end of that line. I'll bet money. I might end up having to cut this line now. Yep, I have to cut this line now. All because I didn't keep tension on the line. All because I'm an idiot and didn't keep tension on my line. But anyway, we're back. Um, I've relined my topwater rod and I've made some other changes. I took some advice from a couple friends and relined my topwater rod with braid, which is something I generally don't fish with on that. I generally have monofilament because my topwater rod was a, like growing up in high school when I was a co-angler, it would be a like cross, it would be like a multi-purpose rod. And when I was fishing with other types of topwater baits, it was best to have really, really strong, hefty monofilament because I could use it for across the board, but I was missing too many fish. So now we're not doing that anymore. We've got braid on the topwater rods. We're gonna start with that rod this afternoon. And then after we've uh, caught a few on the topwater bait, we're gonna go and switch to the soft plastic. Guys, without further ado, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. And I'll be doing the spot and stalk. Smoke them. Oh, I don't know. Oh, guys, it's October 18th. I'm very pleased with this buck, especially for my first buck in my bed. All right, so as you guys can clearly see, uh, this one corner of the pond alone is just covered in moss and it's got this grass or some sort of vegetation that kind of grows around the bank right here. So all in all, this is a really cool pond to fish. If I had a kayak, I'd probably get in a kayak, honestly, because there's several portions of the bank that I can't even reach. And the other side, the gentleman does not like fishermen. So I basically have this whole bank right here up to about the middle of the front of the pond to fish. We're gonna start with a frog hit this little corner here and we're gonna wrap around. We'll go all the way to where it stops. Um, I actually might even just start over there and work our way down. Might do that for a minute. So we'll go over here. But yeah, beautiful pond. I don't know, guarantee we're gonna get some top water bites, but I cannot promise that we're gonna be getting a whole lot of uh, soft plastic bites today, but we'll we'll see. First cast with the 
frog on brand new braid. We're gonna stick with the little frog for a little bit and go from there. I can't believe I haven't gotten hit. Oh, 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 oh. Did you guys see that? Very delayed hit right there. There we go. Oh, came out the water on that bait. He came out of the water to hit that bait and I still missed him. Had a frog break my line or I had a bass break my line the last time I was here. Oh my God, two misses in a row. I had a bass break my line and then I was also missing a bunch of fish like I am right now. There's one bass right here that is absolutely going nuts for this frog. All right, I think we're gonna give him a break. I'm trying to remember where the property line is. I think it's like literally right in here. I kind of want to walk up. Oh, oh, there's another one wanting to play ball. There it is. Oh, you little shit. There we go. Oh my God. In this jungle of algae. There we go. Got him that time. First fish of the day. First fish of the day, eh? Not a big guy, not a big guy. But it is a bass nonetheless. Probably a pound eight, maybe pound five but definitely over a pound would be a keeper there it goes get on out there he made it out cool oh sent the frog flying sent the frog flying dude there it is got it done Got him that time. This one's definitely a little bit better of a bass. I'd say maybe pound 12. Hell yeah. Beneficial. All right, let's uh, scoot back over here and see if we can get the one we first missed to uh, play ball. is right there folks that is a big one look at how big that pool is that he just created he freaking created a massive hole it's interesting nothing oh yeah that's a good one oh yeah that's a better one i think i think yes that is a way better one that is a way better fish, fellas. Let's go. That is a slab of a fish. Oh my God, look how long that fish is. Look how long that fish is. That is at least 16, 17 inch, every bit of three pounds. All right, get this guy back in the water. It's gonna be kind of tough to do this, but. I think we're good. I think we're good. There it is, got one. Made a mess of the top, but it's a, it's a bass and he got the whole frog. Let's take a peek at that one. Whole frog up in his mouth. And it comes out nice and easy, just like that. And there you have it, folks. Yeah, it's kind of an aggressive way to release him, but don't have much of a choice. Oh, just have one swirl. Missed the fish, I'm sitting here talking. He's missing it again. Just had a bass kind of out there in no man's land. He missed him twice. It looks like a pretty good one too, based off the size of the back. He's gonna have to get a little more aggressive than that. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, way better one. Oh yeah, that's a slab right there, fellas. That is a dog. 
of a bass, buddy. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at how big his fish is. Look at the mouth on that fish right there. Oh, that is a giant bass. That is a big one, son. That is a freaking donkey. Hold that one up for the gram. God, I wish I had somebody here to take a freaking picture of me. Nice little spot for release right here. Okay. That is a freaking massive fish, dude. Look how big that fish is, buddy. And there he goes. Biggin'. It's a big one, but it's a no, it's not a big one. It's not a bad one, but it's not a big one. He might have just broke the frog. Got some battle scars like a uh, herring or something. Went after him. All right, I think what we're gonna do, since we've worked this whole bank right here, is I think we're gonna hit this little pocket where I missed that giant one, and then we're gonna go grab the uh, soft plastic rod, grab a drink, and come back. See if we can get him from the outside. I got one, but I don't think that's him. <sighs> yeah, that's definitely not the fish I missed. That fish I missed was way bigger. All right, I think it's time. Okay. We're gonna get the uh, soft plastic rod, grab a drink, and we'll come right back to it. Okay, <clears throat> so we're back down at the pond. Um, I actually kind of got a little spicy here for a second, and I'm only gonna throw it for a little bit, but uh, I grabbed the chatterbait spinnerbait rod and i have a jackhammer here i'll step in the sunlight so you guys can see a little bit better but i've got the chatterbait spinnerbait rod rigged up with a green pumpkin jackhammer and it's a green pumpkin and like white pearl bottom um, trailer and then i've also got the soft plastic rig rock rocking a uh, speed crawl right now and then in my pocket i've got a large bag of extra soft plastic so this time we did not forget the soft plastics really 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 like to see if i could get one to chase a chatterbait in this pond or possibly hit a chatterbait in this pond so got one. Oh my god oh oh man was not taking that serious at all. I had a fish come up and choke the chatterbait and it felt like a pretty good one. God, that startled me. Like I, I just wasn't expecting that. It was literally, I was casting the reel or casting the bait out to the middle to clean some junk off of it and I got ripped. It's a pretty good fish too, man. Okay, so we might actually catch one on a chatterbait today. All right, we're gonna stroll down here to this open gap where I have a little bit of open water to fish with this chatter, give a few more casts, and then we're gonna come back and rework this section with the soft plastic and see what we can turn up. I have a feeling we can get a couple on the soft plastic today just as well as the chatterbait, but right now it's not looking as hot for the chatterbait. I caught, had one back there on it, looked like a decent fish, felt like a decent fish, but Unfortunately, I was not paying attention and it was kind of one of those casts where I was just trying to get a knot out of my line and it ended up costing me a catch. So, won't do that again.
Yeah, I got one. I actually got one on the chatterbug. Let's go. Okay. So there's two that have hit the chatterbug today. Two have hit the chatterbug. It's a that's a pretty good fish too. Pretty good fish. So two today on the chatterbug, but I missed the first one. We're gonna throw it again here for a second because I haven't even made it down to this pocket that I was trying to make it to. I just had a trying to find an open lane and just kind of letting it rip. Oh, got him. Good fish too. Another one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Come on, big guy. Same spot. It's a good one. Another good one. Same area. We're gonna keep throwing that spot until we just stop catching them. There we go. Oh, no way. No way. Multi-species. Big old crappie hit that one. Check out that one. That is a big old crappie. A mouth on that sucker. Pretty good looking fish. That's not what I was expecting to hit that. See what we can do with the old flipping rig. Didn't even hit the bottom. That's it right there. All right. Soft plastic fish. Check. Oh, got one. Oh. Well, I have one. Son of a gun. I can't stand to end it on a miss, so we're gonna go get the uh, frog rod and throw the frog rod down around for 10 or so minutes, and then we're gonna call it. We're just gonna throw the uh, frog around for a couple more minutes at the front of this pond because I do not wanna end today on a, on a miss. So we're just gonna take a peek back up here but we killed it today. I will say that. I think we got another episode out of today's content. No doubt. Would be nice to have one more fish. It's all a man could ask for. But all in all. Oh. Yep. We're going to catch one more big one right here, fellas. I don't know if you guys just saw that. I had a dandy of a bass just jump up down there on my frog he's wanting to play ball we're gonna get him come on just up there come on yep yep oh my god you the line on that one this is a big one this is a big one oh god let's go oh hot damn on the frog son holy big bass baby oh i gotta get the scale for this one he's alive and well okay all right 5.4 pounds of a bass 
Let's go. Five pounds, four ounces. That is a five pounder if I've ever seen one. Let's show them one more time for the camera. Oh man. That is a big fish, ladies and gentlemen. The biggest fish I've caught this year. All right, let's see if he goes away. Holy cow. 